really does make me feel like I'm at home every day. The fact that they do really care. How caring and loving they are and how they always make food for me and they're always there for me. They're, uh, they're great people. Everybody treated me like family and um, I don't know, family's always important to me and I feel like they're a good, they're a good fit. No, I feel like it's more of a family aspect. She makes, a, makes me feel like one of her own kids and uh, does a really good job creating that family atmosphere. And we all hang out together and it's a really great family atmosphere. They make you feel a part of the family, so it was really nice coming in. Puts you at ease. Well, I remember with my billets here, our billets here, we get a really good family atmosphere, and it's just like I'm, I'm living at home, so. Right from when Coach dropped me off at her house, uh, it was a very open and warm and kind of a loving home atmosphere. She makes me feel at home. Yeah. You know, they brought me in as one of their own, and um, it's like my second home now. I've lived here for three years, so. Being comfortable at the house and uh, being able to make a home away from home great family that they let me join and be a part of. She just does her best to make me feel at home. Pretty much like being at home, like I get my own freedom, but at the same time we're always doing like family stuff, like having dinners together and like hanging out together upstairs when we're done. When I'm thinking of my billets, I'm thinking of someone who's uh, willing to open up their house and let me stay with them and provide food and pretty much loving care for me. My favorite part about living with the crumbs is probably just being able to do my own thing. Right away, right when I got there, it was super normal. Everybody treated me like family, and um, I don't know, family's always important to me, and I feel like they're a good, they're a good fit. Honestly, it's more of a, here it's been a huge family. Everybody here in the city, um, they really taken me in, embraced me, and uh, I really thank everybody for that. So um, I want to thank Austin, I want to thank all the billets that I had prior, and I'm excited for next year. Uh, my favorite part about living with Mike and Amy Cooper is just the fact that they do really care. They Every day they ask us how our day was, ask us if we need anything, and then come up to a great food every night for dinner and great conversation. So they're just great people who have been great to, to Sutter and I every single day. They've been my favorite part about living with Mike and Amy is definitely their cooking. Uh, Mike makes uh, great steaks and Amy's always trying something new and uh, it's always a hit. My favorite part about living with her is probably just, I mean, it could be everything, like the cooking, but most importantly, just she makes her best effort at everything to make me feel at home. And that just, I can't thank her enough for that. Rita's amazing. She's awesome. She does everything right. Um, uh, cooks dinner every night. Uh, I get my own little setup in the basement. She gives me privacy, but at the same time, like we still hang out and you know do stuff together. Uh, um, you know, I, I think it's the perfect setup for me. She's a great lady, and uh, I had a great year this year living with her. Yeah, it's awesome there. Uh, we call her the warden uh, just because she's uh, got to stay on top of things. But all in all, it's a good experience. I've been there for two and a half years now, so. Can't complain really. My favorite part about living with the Langs is how caring and loving they are and how they always make food for me and they're always there for me. I would just say just Anne acting like a, a true mom. She is a mom, so she treats me like and Dahmer and Brooksy like we're one of her own. She cares about us, like really does care about us. She's always there for us. I just can't remember like you know, they brought me in as one of their own, and um, it's like my second home now. I've lived here for three years, so um, just the Ann and Dave and also Bradley, like, I just love being around all of them, and it's awesome. Every night before we have dinner, we have, uh, like, a competition between all the billet guys and Bradley. Okay. It's like the first person who comes upstairs before dinner says, thanks for dinner, Mom. Okay. And we do it every day, so thanks, thanks for dinner, Mom. Mom. My favorite part about living with the Met Garden is, uh, Probably, probably the cooking. Their, their cooking is always something unreal. Um, and I just, they're just great people. We get to hang out with them, just talk to them. Uh, it's been really easy. They're, uh, they're great people. So for the first year, it's, it's been, it's not, it's been that hard at all. So it's been great. Uh, my favorite part about living with the Hines is Bill's always got sports on the TV. So uh, we're always active in some genesis. So, what I remember with my billets here, our billets here, we get a really good family atmosphere. And it's just like I'm, I'm living at home. So. My favorite part about living with the Hines is definitely the 
time around the dinner table, just being able to joke around and you know enjoy a meal together. You know, it's pretty consistent every night, and it's just awesome to kind of have that sense of normalcy. My favorite part of living with Patty Hansen is her home cooked meals. She makes bomb meals. It's been really nice living with her. She's super, uh, super chill. So Jens and I, it's just, it's really easy on us. And, you know, she does a lot of things for us too. So she, she makes a, makes me feel like one of our own kids and uh, does a really good job of creating that family atmosphere. And uh, you know, she cooks for us. You know, does our laundry sometimes and cleans our rooms on the away weekends. So she, uh, she's made it feel very homey. She's just really friendly and easy to talk to and you know anytime something's going on she's always there for me so carry to go. It's been great I mean couldn't have asked for a better village she basically does everything that's laundry she cooks us every meal she cleans our sheets she does everything so it's been great. Well I've been there for pretty much two and a half years and right from the get-go Right from when Coach dropped me off at her house, uh, it was a very open and warm and kind of a loving home atmosphere right from the start. And uh, like I said, I've kind of been there for two and a half years and yeah, I, I have nothing but great things to say about living in Seuss. She, like Dex and Walt have already said, she's a great cook, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. She is a mom to us, a uh, home away from home, which is exactly what you want from a billet. and. That's something that I know she rests her hat on is making sure that we feel that we, we, we have a safe place to come home to every day. So we're not coming home wondering what we're gonna eat, uh, what, what, you know, have it, letting us to fend for ourselves in terms of you know, cleaning our own rooms and making sure everything's kind of nice and tidy and clean and quiet when we need it. So I have nothing but great things to say about her. My favorite thing about the Thomases living with them is they give me my own space and my own freedom, but they also are great family that they let me join and be a part of. The Thomases for sure uh, definitely treat me more as their own and more as like one of their own childs. They're definitely the best billets I've had. Um, we have the whole downstairs to ourselves, me and uh, Carson, so that's nice, but um, it's also nice that they have uh, two younger kids and we can hang out with them and uh, play mini six with uh, Asher and yeah, so it's nice. Just thank you guys for everything. It's been, uh, been a fun and wild ride and uh, I'm sure gonna miss that stir fry, Kelly. Yeah, it's, the atmosphere is nice there. Uh, having another New Yorker there is cool to relate to. And it's, uh, it's, just, it's just Eric, Shredder, and I, so there's not much, uh, there's not like uh, kids nabbing at you in your ears all the time, but uh, it's, it's good for just kind of doing your own thing and, and just laying low kind of. Yeah, we get a good amount of independence uh, living there because we're not, we don't really have that many responsibilities, whether it's hanging out with children or doing stuff like that. So we get to do our own thing a little bit, which is a nice plus.